Making pictures was the only way I existed, I suppose. And um, from that you develop a, an identity and you just keep doing it and it, you absorb it and it becomes you. The glitch series, I've been sort of on and off doing them for about, like glitchy paintings, on and off for about three years now. But now it's fucking everywhere. I'm, I'm trying to explore like lots of different um, different processes for it, different kinds of uh, methods of glitching and stuff like that. Th this one down here, like, you won't be able to see it very well, it's very unfinished, but it's, uh, I, was, I really wanted to uh, do a painting using um, ASCII, the kind of old computer thing they used to make, I don't know, like the 70s or something like that, just made out of text. I like to paint them because I like that there to be another layer of error and mistake and uh, I think that's where um, a lot of inspiration comes from. All painting it is so vast, it, you, can, you can pretty much create almost anything and you know they're so messy, they kind of, they feel like yeah they're the perfect medium to explore this kind of stuff. Although to be fair, up there is cross stitch which is probably like the opposite describe myself as going through artistic puberty, how I keep saying I'm like naive and stuff. And um, these two pieces, these work in, works in progress here, they're meant to document aspects of going through artistic puberty, like certain things that quite a lot of people go through, or me specifically have gone through. It's, it's difficult to talk about these because I haven't quite nailed down the, the arty bullshit that goes with it. This was about um, taking acid for the first time uh, and painting on it. It felt like um, performing some performance enhancing drugs for like athletes, but for the artist version, before I, I, when I painted, I saw it more as staining the canvas a different color. But now it's a little bit more uh, physical and um, seeing the paint kind of as a, as a kind of a lump of you know, pigment and oil and you know, what it actually kind of is. It's quite liberating in a way because uh, I was like hyper perfectionist before trying to get everything you know, neat and tidy and everything has to be perfect. Da, 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 da. I've become a lot less precious with this work and that has helped, you know, I can touch it, kick it, whatever, and I try and treat them like shit a little bit just to have that less attachment so I'm more willing to scribble all over it or do this, that or the other. To put worth on what you do a lot of people do put their worth on what they do based on other people's opinions and it's hard to avoid that. It's really tricky how, how successful I think a piece is, is based on how I have felt it has achieved what I wanted it to. I think it's maybe slight, could be maybe a short attention span. Um, this is why nearly every painting here is unfinished. I kind of get excited about a new thing quite quickly and I move on and you learn a lot more by doing new stuff like that. So I have like a fantasy in my head that it all come together one day and create this <laughs> master, uh, you know, I can paint how I want to do. And I, I think this might be a little bit of truth to that, that, you know, only by exploring everything figure out what you really want to do. The overall goal is to, I guess, master it, which sounds like a, uh, it depends how you want to define how you can master oil paint, but to me it's where I can, I guess, make a masterpiece, something, a piece of mine that I, that I, I, I guess I'm, I'll know, it sounds a bit uh, wishy-washy fantasy, but I'll know when that point and then maybe I'll move on to something else.